documented in their own writings. How would you describe what some of these historical figures have gone through? Who are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about people that we uh, ourselves are um, pretty familiar with, like uh, characters like Jesus Christ, Krishna, uh, Buddha. Um, and I would describe a lot of their um, experience. Well, let me say this. It is a little bit difficult, of course, um, the undertaking which I had in this project and for that matter, we'll continue to have in future projects because I plan to continue this kind of vein of filmmaking. Um, but it's a little bit difficult because a lot of their experiences and the description of their experiences is understandably abstract because what they're experiencing is such as occurs on a level of existence beyond the quote-unquote regular third-dimensional existence that we presently live on. And so the words that they use of their own admittance are uh, very vague and inadequate representations of what is actually happening to them while they're having these experiences. And I um, decided to attempt to represent some of these uh, experiences that they had, and for that matter that I myself have had, um, in the visual medium. Um, so how would I describe it? I, it's, it's, it's really tough because um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put uh, a very um, concrete visual stamp on an experience which is ultimately not just personal, but um, really qu quite difficult to uh, uh, to relate to another human being. You have to actually experience it on your own in order to understand it. How did you use uh, your camera work and editing and post-production to kind of give people a sense of this experience? It seems like that's very much part of the experience of watching the film, is your style of filmmaking. I, well, let me say this. I am certainly very influenced uh, filmatically by um, styles uh, related to people like Darren Aronofsky, uh, Peter Berg, who has a pretty substantial acting background, but as a director, he's done stuff that's pretty uh, impressive. Paul Greengrass is another director, um, the director who's done The Born Identity on um, um, films and also did United 93. This type of filmmaking... <clears throat> Is, it's definitely an acquired taste, but it's, it's a very kind of free, handheld, um, I, I almost call it m metaphorical filmmaking, because w what it is, it gets from point A to point B in a visual manner that doesn't necessarily hold your hand through what they're attempting to represent, but instead you understand something happened from the moment that you began the scene to the moment where you ended the scene, and you kind of got the feeling of what actually occurred, but you're not exactly sure exactly how it happened because um, there are so many cuts. There is so much, again, I don't want to overuse the word, but abstraction involved in, um, in that representation. So how did I... Um, um, come to this particular approach to um, this style of filmmaking? Well, uh, I, I would say two things. One, it come, came from the, um, some of the influences which I mentioned, um, and, you know, and I'm just, I just gravitate to that kind of style and feel. And also, uh, to be quite honest, there is also the, um, the just straight um, economic aspect involved during the making of this film of the fact that because it was uh, uh, shot on, uh, on a budget and because of the fact that there weren't huge crews and because of the fact that there weren't huge Hollywood cranes that could smoothly glide the camera up or down or in any direction that you want, um, there was an inherent level of uh, 
shakiness and, and unsteadiness. And instead of attempting to hide that, I embrace that aspect of, uh, of, of the camera's quote-unquote deficiencies and made that work as an artistic choice. There is a moment where I thought it was a, a really interesting representation of your life flashing before you in, in what is perhaps the last moment of, of one's life. How did you think about that? Are you referring to the last moments of the actual movie itself? There's a there's a because, couple of moments where there's I don't mean to interrupt, uh, edits but that look it's like, like you're there saying one there frame was a moment each. when you know, and I'm like, okay, what moment was that? Because there were so many different flashes and strange things happening that I'm like, okay, what 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 part are you referring to, Mary? <laughs> well, the, the the part well. I don't want to ruin the movie yeah, exactly. for, don't for give people, it away. but um, <laughs> in any case, Carolyn Cabello wants to comment also. Go ahead. Oh, yes, I wanted to say that I think what Hivier's talking about is says what um, could be called uh, Christ consciousness, as some people call it that, and I think, uh, and part of the, the main reason for this film festival is that I feel that we all have this ability, we all have this um capacity to become spiritually alive and spiritually conscious and um, to live our lives that way and um, at the moment of death all that will come to pass so that's what the festival is all about uh, Javier Calderon what what are you working on now this this project is is finished are you are you going to continue to make films oh absolutely um, I for better or for worse, sometimes I feel for worse, I have no choice. I'm an artist. And so um, I am presently uh, working on the script to the next film that will uh, begin production um, this year, coming up. And uh, I plan to be finished with that one, you know, in uh, as short a time as possible. But that particular film coming up will also be another uh, tour de force in... in uh, I guess, you know, the, the kind of filmmaking which really uh, forces me to delve into it 100% and give of myself just as much as I did uh, for the God Project. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really looking forward to working on the next film as well because uh, there, there, there are going to be many aspects that will um, involve risk, not just emotionally but physically as well. So, uh, yeah, the... the the next film should begin production in uh, a few months, hopefully. <laughs> and you will be here in Santa Fe, attending the Santa Fe Metaphysical Film Festival, and you will be on a panel discussion on Saturday at 4.45 in the afternoon. Spirit and We're film. looking forward to seeing you. Uh, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone, and uh, thank you for having me, Mary. It's a great pleasure. The film is called The God Project.